Twitch, welcome to another week of Intro Beginners. This is aptly, we just pointed this out, this is session 69 on 420. It's a very special episode in our hearts. Special um, day. <laughs> and also, yeah, just as a constant reminder, I the username is padfoot240, not padfoot420, as many people have messed it up in the past. But, uh... <laughs> Get out of here, Travis. Stop that. That's what? not our channel. Go away. Travis, can you show off your shirt? <laughs> Give it a oh, shout out. Oh, this thing? Get yeah, out of here. Give it a shout out. This comfortable shirt from a company you may know. <laughs> um, and it, it, you know, it's just got a little design here. I don't remember what it's from, but, you know. <laughs> anyway. Small little plug for the small, channel we small all, little plug. We all like. Uh, Twitch TV slash itmejp. Check them out. Yeah. Some good D&D content there. And some good gaming content. Yep, and, and they're what got me into D&D originally, and uh, I know some of the rest of you as well. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, apologize for the lateness, but we had just life stuff happen again, which is no problem. So, we're going to dive right into it. Skip the, skip the intros, save some more time. All right. So, Travis, give us a big recap of what happened last session. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I think we'll just jump back into it. So you guys spend, uh, all of you, for some reason or other, spend a tumultuous night uh, at sea. You try and get uh, as much rest as you can, um, having fought a, a rather harrowing battle, kind of the night slash this morning. Um, and let's be fair about it. One, two, three, four. So, Durian, uh, you were awoken the next day by the captain. Um, you can consider you got full rest, but um, the captain cool. shakes you awake and says, Durian, it's it's time. They're gaining up on us. Can, uh, okay, cool. What it? How much HP do I have since I can't see my token? That's ah, a good question. that's a great question. Does everyone else have their HP? Uh, I know I got healed uh, for coming out. I don't let know me exact grab my notes. I guess that's important to do. I am like... Uh, oh yes, I have it up here. Sorry, I got hit like twice that whole fight. Yeah, of course, Cabin never gets hit. <laughs> um, he also stays in the back. I am looking for everyone's HP, and again, from now on, do try to keep track of your own. Mine's because a I don't remember. twenty-nine. Yeah, I have. I it. mean, uh, I it's on my token. I it's actually yeah, yeah. there. So during you're at twenty-five. Does okay. that sound right? I yeah, I was injured, so it sounds right. Okay, Nina, you were at three plus whatever you got healed for. I'm at twenty nine. Which is a ridiculous amount. Uh, you're at twenty nine, and who doesn't have theirs? Well, I can't remember how much you healed me for, Travis, because it's not in the log. Kevin, you're at sixty eight. Yep. Um. She. Uh, and I, I know she dropped a very big heal. Yeah, I'm trying to. Find that here. Uh, it sh was 21, I think. That sounds right. I think it was 21. Yeah. So you're at 24. Right. Cool. So, uh, Durian, you're you're shaken awake by the captain. Durian, come on. Yep. Grumble, and I get up. And I, uh, yeah, I, I just get up and go join him. Nina. Nina, you too. Are we under attack? Not yet, but uh, that might be coming soon. Uh, you'll want to put that armor on, I think. Hell on, Captain, roughly. If they keep getting on us. On, I on us get like your that. shit together and get out I'm here. I'm getting ready. I'm asking a realistic question. He Travis. walks out. <laughs> Nina, just fewer questions. Well, I have an idea. That's why I want to know. It, we just get suited up. The captain's in charge. And then I'm in charge. And then you'll get a chance to talk. <laughs> and, I, I and I'll walk away. Like... <laughs> we don't have time to plan right now. Well, plan's already done. I, I've left. Travis, I'm not. Mum yeah, mumble, grumble. You, mumble, you guys. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. getting my armor on. Okay, you guys uh, start suiting up. Um, uh, 
Caban and Fawn, you hear a hammer on your door, and the captain just yells in, Get up! Hurry up! Yeah. 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 Fawn, uh, Fawn really hasn't slept a wink. She's... Yeah. Well, I mean, so... she doesn't sleep anyways. She hasn't tranced more than she tranced before, which I don't know how many hours that would have been, but she was just, like, restlessly, like, laying in bed, like, I don't... Or, I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, I don't... I don't know what to do. I don't... I... <laughs> Uh, so, Caban, you roll <laughs> over and, like, uh, wipe the trance out of your eyes, and um, you see Fawn just kind of, like, staring at the wall. I'm having a midlife crisis, I think, Caban. <laughs> do we still call you Fawn? Or should I call you Buck? <clears throat> Buck? What's Who's... No. No Buck. Uh, oh, I yes, guess... she is the penis. <laughs> did she check? I, uh, did she check? Does she still have one? I guess I could have a manlier name. Well, I mean, I assume I'm still like. I mean, whatever. I, I will call body. you Fawn if you want to be called Fawn. Yeah, Fawn. I, was Fawn, just saying, Fawn, I you, mean, you look down and you can tell you're still very much a male. I was just thinking because Buck is like the I female feel, feel like... of a deer, and Fawn is like. Oh. That's what I thought. That's but... super clever. We're so gonna go clever, with that. It went... Yeah, that I, that, I the ranger like, who lives there who heard his well, life I just thought he was calling me Buck because I have an awful like male voice, and it was just like I sound kind of like a redneck. So that's what I thought it was. Uh, so fun. Um, <laughs> you you know obviously that male and female elves, as long as you're in baggier clothing, aren't all that easily distinguishable. Um, a lot of elves keep their hair long. And I'm pretty beautiful. Uh, well, your charisma's not that high. <laughs> but anyway, um... Charisma is not just beauty, okay? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, fun's beautiful. Uh, charisma is though. how I do it. But what I'm, what I'm asking is, uh, do you try and, like, mask the change you've gone through? No. I, I would just act, uh... I would act very casually about it because I don't want to scare other people because I don't know what's going on to me. So I would essentially try to uh, dress a little bit more manly, maybe pull my hair back uh, into like a bun or something like, like not like a high like ballerina bun, but like, you know, a low one or a low ponytail and make myself look more manly if that's possible with really okay, long hair. Okay, so, so <laughs> you're not, you're attempting to embrace this change right away. Trying to because I don't want to scare other people because I don't know what's wrong with me and I don't want them to think I'm a witch and then burn me. So, okay, <sighs> yeah. So uh, I assume you guys suit up and head out. Does yeah. Caven like turn over and say, "Ah, oh, five more minutes"? Yeah, cool. You guys uh, suit up and head out um, and meet up on deck. Uh, you see the captain is talking with a couple of his um, shipmates up by the wheel. Um, and he waves you guys up. Yep. I, I uh, <clears throat> I, I go up like I, I normally would and act, act casual. Okay. Cool. So he looks at you during and says, well, what do you, uh, what do you think? And he jerks his thumb over and you can see maybe, I don't know, between a quarter and a half mile away, far to your, uh, starboard is uh, a ship coming up behind you. Captain, that looks like a ship coming up behind us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See their Listen. flag? The uh, hand to his telescope. I, I turn it the wrong way and look through it. And look at something really far away. No, I, I, it's I look tiny. through it. <laughs> the this, this ship seems pretty far off still, Captain. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ship. Why? I flip, I flip it around. I'm like, lighten up. We'll be all right. Um, <laughs> what do I, what do I see on the flag? Uh, you see, um, the huge like mast. The entire mast is designed with a, a giant like black tooth drawn on it. A tooth Dude, or a fang? Wow. We're not after. Do you we're like not to after make the... <laughs> nature roll? <laughs> I look. I say, Captain. You don't know of any organization called the char the charcoal molar, do you? <laughs> he, he laughs and says, uh, "No, I don't." All right. Well, here's the deal. When we uh, 
I look around. Is um, uh, what's her face? Um, or, or, or Asha, is she around? Uh, she is not. Captain, did you wake Asha up? Uh, I talked to her last night. Um, I would have appreciated being in the know with what exactly our mission was here. Yeah, so you and me are. both. You and me uh, both, bud. I want to have I, some words with her. Um, well, Captain, I left her with the uh, little one. Yeah, listen. We, we knocked a lot of them out. We did them some damage. Now, when we were scouting around back at the island... We did see that they had a ship, and there might have been sailors on the ship. We could be dealing with anything from a skeleton crew to a 15 pirates. Ah, <sighs> excellent. But, well, uh, we... they should be wary of us. I mean, we gave them a quite a beating, so... Yeah. Well, we've run out all our sails. Uh, they're tacking against the wind just as we are, so... We keep zigzagging and crossing. They might not be able to do much. Head for keep keep them on their toes. Don't let them square up a ballista shot. I'm gonna go talk to Asha. Uh, Captain, if I may. Yeah. And I what? and I, I leave to go talk to Asha. If one could conceivably stole them or stop them from pursuing us, that would be better than just trying to outrun them, would it not? I'm open to whatever suggestions you have. How much? And I like pause for a second. How much flammable supplies do we have? Oil. Their boat. Like, I mean, serious. Like, oil, uh, I we don't have much. We've got a couple of pints that we use for lanterns, but mostly we've got torches set up. It'll probably be what we brought with us, Nina. Well, how much do you guys have? A um, couple, literally two pints. Uh, no, no, I was talking about us. That's asking party. I have, I have oh. two flasks of alchemist fire. An acid, but that's not flammable. Um, phone? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I think you mean book. He is uh, <laughs> Question mark. You know, oh, y you can see that I'm a dude. Come on. No, she, like, sorry. it's I not immediately it noticeable. Oh, no, it's not immediately noticeable? She just sees you with a new hairstyle. Well, as, as I said, elves don't have super noticeable gender differences. Okay. They well, all tend to be slim. You can have hear you that my voice is deeper then. Have, have you not my... heard the joke, kill the she-elf, which wants the she-elf? Well, that's not... Uh, that, that's Yeah, but there's... I feel like there's more gender dimorphism there, but... Anyways. Um, you can tell that my voice is deeper then. Um, and I kind of clear my throat and say... Hold on. I'm looking through my stuff to see what I have that's actually flammable. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, I don't think I have much that'll uh, that'll catch on fire. At least that we throw at them. Maybe some arrows. I mean, oh. if I was thinking about that last night, Nina, in the in the dark, it would have been easier. If we do it in the day, when they when they see something coming, they see something gets set on fire. They have water stationed out in the boat, just like we do for such a purpose. I think the best bet is if we can somehow get the fire on their sails. That was exactly what I was thinking, Kevin. So I, I was coming up. I sort of had a plan to do yeah. that. I sort of had this plan the second that we were running away well, from we them. We need to something to stick onto the sails. Like if we throw a, a glass at a sail, it'll probably just roll off or bounce. You mean like a whole bunch of oil and rope? Because if I can put a rope, like a hook on one of the sails and light off, you know, a rope on fire, the rope's going to hit their sails and lean against it. Are you going to be the one to go rope. over there and do that? I mean, the rope will be on yes, fire. I, am, I don't know if the rope will catch the sail on fire, but it's better than nothing. If I mean, I their sails are made like ours. It's tough canvas. It's going to be hard to light them on fire. Yeah, it's not. They're not like it's not going to go up. It with if, instant flame hits it. Like with oil and stuff. I mean, but you can't. You can't like just drench the sail in oil, then hook it then light it on fire. Like, they're gonna be shooting at you. They had harpies last time. Harpies will be- if they have them, they'll be all over you. It's not like they're not gonna care that you're trying to take them down. They're going May to be actively like, trying to stop The best case I could think is if you have somewhat of a six-foot rope, 
with a grappling hook. Somehow get the grappling hook stuck on the sail. At the end of the rope, you have, like, the jars tied there. So when it hits well, and swings, it can maybe break, but that's still... I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't mean to shit-talk your plan. If this, okay, uh, this is great, because if it gets your plan on fire, it's great. Sorry. In, a, in, in one bag, eight pots of oil and three alchemist fires. And I just do my best to hit that sail and get the hell out of there. I mean, yeah, if, if we could do it, we could do it. Sounds like a death wish. <laughs> well, if we get caught, it could be a death wish. I'm pretty sure we're going to get caught trying to set their boat on fire. No, I meant if they catch us. Yes, we, we I know. We pretty well last time, but yeah, <laughs> it's... I mean, this is a this is a good... If it does any damage, it's better than nothing, right? If it solves them for an hour, that's that could be mean the world to it's, it's an hour we have ahead of them. That's what I'm saying. Any, any yeah. solve for ten minutes, it's a good thing. So we'll see. We can do one one hit and one strike at the sails. Um, at the very least, it could stall them. We do have a bit of uh, <clears throat> artillery, I guess you could say, that artillery. can fly. Yeah, Nina, you're... Hmm. How close are you going to get? Uh, well, close is a well to term. I wasn't going to just fly the ship. I was going to drop it from above. Oh. I mean, I, I could at the same time just do one good flyby and just run it into their sails and then I get think, out of there. I mean, not to just put you up to the task, but that's probably what we're going to need. Like, dropping it above, it can hit it, but we're going to need, like, to make sure it hits it. Otherwise, we're just going to lose all our stuff. Well... Alternatively, if... I was gonna suggest, uh, Captain. You said the sails are tough, canvas-like stuff. It's not nothing that a nothing that some easy blade can slice through, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's uh, they're like our sails. I'm sure they. W what's your plan? We do have a very sharp rapier that cuts through anything, right? And a sharp oh, side. Rape? Look, uh, the sails are huge. Uh, you'd need an hour to cut them down with a rapier. That's assuming they weren't also shooting uh, at you, yeah. stabbing at you. I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but it would know. be tough to do enough damage quickly. Spitballing stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, is a, a hole in the sails going to stop them, put them on fire? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I don't see there any harm in trying one hit, and, one hit and run to see if we can just delay them. If if it works and their sails do catch on fire, then they have to tend to that. They'll lose a lot of time and speed. Oh, Nina, oh. since since this is your plan, why don't you give me a d twenty? Okay. Twelve. Okay. Yeah, the the captain just rubs his eyes and says, "I I don't know. I'm I've been up all night trying to run from these assholes. I don't have any ideas for you." Hmm. Uh, talk it over. They're gonna swing back this way pretty soon. Right. We could. Swing. You'll you'll want to get durian ready in the next couple minutes. Oh, uh, for and why do you don't have we? That? Uh, why don't we actually switch to dirty? Oh, okay. Sorry, what, really quick. Okay. What do you mean by switch? Sure. Are they like cutting the wind like they're going zigzag? We're yeah, going to so, catch up? so the wind is coming straight at you from the south. So you can't just sail a boat into it. What you have to do is call tacking into the wind. Right, okay. So you're basically making zigzags. Yeah. So you can see from their position, they probably made a big zigzag behind and are going to cut probably try and cut back across you when you cut against the wind. Okay, just making sure I understood that. Yep. Um, so, Durian, you knock on Asha's door. I, I, I fist it. I mean, it's not a okay. polite knock. <laughs> what? Yes! C come in. I open it. Uh, Durian. Oh, good morning? What can I do for you? I'm looking around. Where's Ariane? Yeah, uh, you see Asha's, like, sitting on the bed, just kind of, like, stroking a little girl's hair. 
the little girl's hair, obviously. Mm -hmm. She just kind of, what can I do for you? It's time. We have company. All right. She uh, gets up and you can see she probably hasn't slept or tranced or whatever all night. She kind of puts on her armor and uh, starts like hefting her trident and says, well, what's the plan? Not to die? To, to get... Uh, I like that plan. The young in here back to her mother? Other than that, right. what use are you going to be? I'll do whatever I can. Ooh. Keep out of the line of fire if you need to um, come down here. We'll uh, think in your mind about what we could do for a plan B, whatever that would look like. Uh, I've, I'll, I'll give it some thought. Thank you. All right. And I withdraw Travis. And I return to the deck. Hey, how's, okay. our, how's our pirate friend? Is he still here? Alive? Uh, you guys, come to think of it, haven't seen him. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I... Yeah, I, so, Caben, you look around yeah, and, like... I, uh, as I, hey, do, as I look around, I'm like, hey. And I kind of tend to and like, have you... Have you seen What's-His-Face since we got back? Who? The the pirate guy. The guy we fished out of the water. Out of the other ship. You mean the one I saved? God damn it. And I stalk off to the <laughs> to the to the stress tired captain. <laughs> okay. Captain? Uh has the rest of the your oh. whatever's filled you in? A word, Captain. Can't just let go of the wheel. What? Where's our captive? Oh, that asshole? I tied him up in the hole. <laughs> Has he had food or water in a couple days? Well, I guess it's only been like a day. You've but... been gone all of ten hours. I didn't think to feed or no, water. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, did you change I'm more box? worried about this. You can... Yes. How long we got? Can you can you outmaneuver them? They seem to be trying to cut us off. Yeah, they're gonna swing back. I think in the next couple minutes. <laughs> can we I mean, just continue? Can we just continue on this path? Don't tack. Uh, we're going to tack the other way when they come in, and hopefully they won't get close enough to us. Is there any value in trying to quickly cut our cut our sail and let them swing ahead of us? Miss us, in other we words, and trying. Go past. I'm trying to get back to safe waters as soon as we can. The, the closer Captain, we get, you know your business. I apologize. I'm just. Uh, I think out loud a lot. I think out it's loud. It's all right. Uh, I'm. It's been a long night. I'm up for any ideas, but no. The the few ships that um, Lady Suteril still has are around the ports in the north. Mm. If we can get there, they're not going to follow us. Hey. How many days out are we? Uh, well, we made uh, quarter time getting out here. We could get back midday tomorrow, but that's the soonest. And you can see, like, the sun has come up a short while ago. It'd be a day, a day and, and a half. half. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hopefully we uh, discourage them. Keep your, uh, you or your, you know, one of your crewmen, keep an eye out. We don't know if they've uh, put a call into any other ships that they may have access to. That would make things real complicated, wouldn't it? It and would. I, and I, I like walk away chuckling. <laughs> or like, I'm like, uh, oh, Captain, I'm going to go down to the hold and make sure the, the guy hasn't slit his wrist or anything. Uh, well, that would... Whatever. Make it quick. Caven. Got an idea. Actually, I just got a second idea. Yeah, so while Durin's doing that, yeah, tell me your plan, but I would have been... Actually, tell me your plan first. Yeah, I was going to um, call for Kevin to join me, so... Um, well... What about me? Do you remember what uh, happened last time we fought the pirates? And they damaged the wheel? 
Um, Would it be better to try two angles of tampering with their ship, the sails and the wheel? I mean, they can't with the wheel. They can't Nina, catch up to us. As much damage on their ship is a good thing, I think. So sail, yeah. wheel, rudder, everything on fire sounds good to me. Yeah. Well, um, but yeah, so what, do you have a certain plan of attack for the wheel, or well, like just aim? the bomb it from above? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Fire. Hmm, that's true. Like I can hit, do one on the sail, so I can do one on the wheel and get the hell out of there. Hmm. I mean, the R wheel was broken when a ballista hit it. I don't know if setting the wheel on fire, it'll probably just pour water on it really fast. But then, well, it's not like they can deal with all of it at the same time. So if they're dealing with the wheel, there won't be as many people dealing with the sails. Especially since the sails are that, that is fire. true, but I, if, they I, have, I, if they have more than five people, they're going to take two people to pour water on the wheel. Like, I don't think it's like an all... They're not all going to be focused on the wheel. Like, it's, well, like I said, if I... Would acid work? Hmm. Maybe. We have that. If that can maybe leak... Maybe if it burns the wheel or leaks underneath it and cuts some of the rope, maybe. Cut, burn, whatever. Um, Captain, what do you think of that, actually? Yeah, so... On the wheel, would that work? So you go up and talk to the captain, it's like, uh, well, I mean, the... The wheel itself is just wood, but it's attached to this turnstile with these heavy ropes to turn the rudder. If you could get through the ropes, I mean, that's what they broke when they hit us. They snapped our wheel and severed the ropes. It took us two hours to fix. Is it is it like exposed, or is it like underneath the planks or anything? Like uh, seeing, see, looking at our wheel, is it like exposed ropes or? Uh, these are. It's just a like an exposed like turnstile. The the wheel turns a, uh, uh, basically a big gear with rope on it, and then right, the ropes that, themselves. So that's but that's like outside in the air. It's not like underneath. Yours is. The, ours is okay. Okay. Yeah, you know that could be a great idea. I think. Mm. Um, I think we should try that as well. Yeah, I think so. It's not so, a bad if, idea. Durian, if Durian's going to call for me, I will Keep it, hold on, hold dump on. out... I need, oh. I need the ring so I can talk to Swift when I'm out. Yeah, yeah, here's the ring. He's gonna, Look, here's the ring. He's going to agree to the plan. Here's my acid. Here's my fire. He'll agree to it. Just tell him everything. You'll be better at it yeah. than I will because it's your plan. Um... And I don't know. Put the stuff in a bag and throw a grappling hook or something in there. So when they when they cloud together, they'll break. I think that's a good plan. Mm. All right. Well, I take the ring and I head for Swiftwind. Cool. Okay. I guess I'm going with Durian somewhere. All right. I'm Fun, uh, just tagging along, I guess, because no one actually invited me. So I'm just kind of like <laughs> quietly uh, who, following behind them. Who are you tagging them, like... along with? Do you want to oh. talk to Swiftwind or the prisoner? Prisoner. Okay. Oh, hey, because Fawn. I can be manly and intimidate him or something. I don't know. Hey, hey Fawn, uh, how's it hanging? <laughs> oh, you know, between my legs. That must be so weird. What? <laughs> what happened to you? I'm honestly stumped, and I haven't even thought about it yet. I haven't had time. Do you think I know? Do you think I'd still be this way if I knew? I mean, you'd still be that way, right? You'd still be that way, even if you knew. <laughs> Also, uh, you can uh, you can call me Buck now, uh, just just so we don't confuse the others. You know, man to man, we don't we don't want to we don't want them to. Uh, I, I, I walk away. You, you know. Like a... <laughs> so, so, Allison, just let me get this straight. You you want to tell the shipmates that you've been on their ship for eight days, and they've been under the impression that you're a female the entire time. You, you want to pr now say I'm that you're now. a man. <laughs> Okay. I'm hey, a very confused individual. It's no longer bad luck, right? And I'm having a midlife crisis, I think. And I think I was just trying to hide my true self. Um, Is she starting to like, talk to these go. fucking sailors? <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm talking to Travis coming. as a buck. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, you... You hear Fawn just kind of grumbling behind you as you guys go down into the hold. 
Um, and you guys yeah, see... Yeah, I would be telling my story, like, trying to make it sound legit. <laughs> yeah, um, you guys see, um... Uh, you probably don't see shit, actually. You, you like, strike up a torch, um, and head down, and, uh... You see in the darkness, like, the, uh, the mast coming through the top deck, and, um... A, uh, a small uh, figure tied to it, like, slumped on the ground. I walk up to him. Yeah, he looks like he's asleep. I give him a little a boot. Oh, well, not, not hard. What? Oh, you want? Oh, see you, Darian. Told you I'd uh, honor our bargain. Oh, uh, yeah, your friends want to, you know, uh, Keeping me on the deck, that's for sure. Your heart is still beating, is it not? Hey, I'm, I'm thankful. I mean, you, you did actually try to kill us. With you. you, um... You're, uh... You're not quite out of the... Out of the, uh... Out of the woods yet. Oh, bloody fucking hell. We got, we got a ship on our tail. Uh... Now who's in it? That's what I'm trying to figure out from you. I mean, I won't lie. We laid, laid waste to a bunch of your friends, but there's some nasty lizard dude at that island that uh, made it out. What can you tell me about him? Wait, you what? What kind of lizard? Oh, God. Uh, that's what the captain meant. what the captain mean? Well, he said the guy they had there... Giving him the orders, he wasn't wasn't normal, you know, human or elf. No, he he called like... him scaly, but I thought it was a uh, you know uh, metaphorical. We call those euphemisms. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fa fancy words. For me. Yeah, yeah. No, he's a fucking lizard, and he's uh, quite the fighter. Um. Ah, uh, fuck then. We well, shouldn't I'm... get caught. I assume your captain's rung out all the sails. Yeah, we're running and we're tacking against the wind, and they think they got the speed on us by a hair. Oh, fuck. So uh, you stay down. You stay down here. But if uh, no one comes and gets you in twenty-four hours, uh, best of luck. Oh, c c come on! C c can't you let me out? I mean, I'd rather grab a bailer and try and swim if it's up to that. Well, I can't let you do that right now, but I'll try and okay. make it down here before it gets too bad. Listen, I'm already. If they in find I've been captured, they're gonna kill me anyway. I'll fucking throw rocks at them if you need me to. You, hey, you just better pray that we survive, because you're either gonna die in the ocean or they're gonna slit your throat. Or if we win, you live. So you may as well stay down here. Uh. Bad options, I know. This is a little awkward, but, uh, you couldn't bring me a bucket, could you? I've been down here for ten hours. I look Come around, on, mate, I... I need to have a shit. Yeah, I, I look around, there's, like, bilge water everywhere, isn't there? Like... Oh, it's, like, dry. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know if it was in the bilge area, so... No, 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 no. Uh, okay, I say... Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Alright. Good luck out you, there. Yeah, I don't know what you pray to, but uh, if things get dicey... I'll fucking find something now, that's for sure. Things get dicey, uh... I'll put, a, I'll put a dagger or sword in your hand and give you a fighting chance. I appreciate that. Alright. Caben, you want to say anything? I him deeply into his eyes. No. And a man, by the way. I, I'm just silent there. Uh, but, uh, Fawn, Buck, you know, dudes don't tend to stare each other in the eyes like that, typically. I, st I start staring Durian in the eyes, just, like, very intently. <laughs> okay. I kind of I kinda give a little... <laughs> Durian, for formerly Fawn gives you a deep look. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. man. <laughs> he gives you a look. Oh, my God. I'm like, Fawn, man, you got some work. You are... I continue staring at him, just like, okay, friend. Okay. I, I, I'm, I feel awkward for the first time in my life, and I walk upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, 
Cool. Uh, you and Travis. I've asserted my dominance. <laughs> Captain, they're cutting over. Oh boy. Yeah. As you as you come up, you uh, hear uh, someone in the crow's nest yelling. I uh, I slap myself and oh, I'm logged in just in time. <laughs> I he I heal myself. Do you slap yourself on the butt though? No, I'm I'm I just give a little a scratch like a crack scratch and okay. thing. That's how I heal myself. Okay. Fawn, uh, you note this. <laughs> Do you imitate like, or not? Ah, that's a no. I was like, that's the manly thing to do, I'm sure, but I'm not going to. Do that. Awesome. So I while you guys are, are yeah, while you guys are dis discussing with the prisoner, um, Nina, you have a ring of animal speaking. Have you used this before? Yes, actually, I you have. have. Yeah. Okay. We, yes. I think we've given it to her before. Swift so when actually agreed that he would aid me if I need to fight over the sea. Okay. Since I cool. Yeah. Fly. So, so you come in, uh, uh, or you head over to Swiftwind. Mm -hmm. No, just to be honest, I just repeat what I just recently said. I like, I feel them in the plan. Like, we're gonna try and hinder their ship so that they can't catch up, and I need your assistance. And I'll let you know now. It will be dangerous. Ah, yes, Nina. I apologize. I didn't realize you had the ring. Um, yes. Uh, well, I agreed to help as best I could. Uh, what do you want from me, exactly? <laughs> to be honest, I need a lift. And we need to try and damage the sails or the wheel so that they can't maneuver the boat. And the idea is to come up from far above them and hopefully coming down directly above them, they won't be looking up to give us the best chance of hitting the ship. A one, a one like only strike before we basically get out. Uh, hit and run. All right. Do you want me to dive down on them, or simply maintain altitude? Um, like we're gonna. I, I and I look, honestly, I look up the clouds. I'm like, I can't believe I'm gonna actually do this. We're gonna <laughs> approach from the clouds, so we're gonna dive down on them. Uh, well, I suppose we'll get as much altitude as we can. Very well, let me know when you're ready. And, and, and uh, I start pulling out some sacks, and I, with all the supplies, I start jelly-rigging two um, very, very lovely bombs, basically. Okay. Olden-day bombs that are going to explode on contact. We'll see. Uh, oh. so, cool, you, you're ready two sacks, and, um... They can explode in midair on, on Swift well, Wind. If, 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 if the Alpha Spy doesn't detonate on, like, a hundred-plus-foot drop, there's something seriously wrong. It might detonate. I mean, by detonate, we mean... I mean, shatter and go... Yeah. Yeah, so, so, um, yeah, you're, you're getting your stuff ready. Uh, and you hear the shout as well that, uh, they're coming in. Um, and you all look over and you see uh, a ship in the distance swinging uh, from your starboard side back toward your ship. What do you all do? Well, the second I'm ready, I will the swift when like, you good for this? Uh, I believe so. Is there anything you wish to, um... <laughs> Sorry, that voice is tall. It's good. It's a good voice. <clears throat> is there anything you wish to say to, uh the rest of the crew. Uh, for the most part, they know. I have one more request. I'm like, is it okay if I just sort of, like, not tightly put rope around you in case I hit the water? That way you can help me out of it. I like, don't understand. Well, you can't go into the water, can you? If I fall in. If you fall off of me from that height, you're going to take me right down with you. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Um, alright. Hmm. Well, let's quickly go around the deck and we'll tell them that we're ready and we'll head out. You're on the deck. Yep. I just look at the captain, I give him a nod. Keep him out on deck. Yep. And give him basically the best elf nod I can. I'm like, well, wish us luck. I came and kind of winces and then gives an actual elf nod at the attempted elf nod. By the way, you still got your fire arrows ready? Um, 
I mean, I could prepare things to be on fire and have like actual fire arrows, right? Well, no, I have mean, natural like fire arrows, don't I? Did I ever use them? No, no, no I mean, you I mean, don't. I, mean, I couldn't buy those. That we, That's right. I didn't have any money. The, the arrows we joy ribbed against the forest trolls. Do you still have any? <laughs> I mean, it's just like material. I I have I have that laid but out. Do you have any? Yes, have I have some laid out now? from the last ship battle, or I can just okay. do it right now. But yeah. I was gonna say if you didn't, I have some here, and okay. I don't have a bow anymore. So actually, I give them all to Caven. Oh yeah. Because I don't have a bow. Oh, that'd be helpful. How many arrows do you have? Uh, well, I did say I did half of mine when we did the troll encounter. So how many half arrows do I have, Travis? I. Uh, so you you give him five arrows. I only have ten arrows. That doesn't seem. Josh, I don't know. You give him arrows. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I give you can only play your so many arrows. I have some dry rigged arrows. arrows from Nita. There you go. Cool. And and, then... and Kaven, you do remember that the range is significantly shorter. On yes. Those. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Should I do not jerry rig arrows. any arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I get my weapons awesome. Out. Yeah. So, uh, Swift one says, uh, "Tell Kaven we'll be safe." He says we'll be safe. Please do. <laughs> Swift wind uh, takes off, leaps into the air. I believe I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, roll. Uh, actually, let me roll, roll a luck save. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you, fall. Uh, you, you hear a muttering of, "Damn, you're wearing something heavier than Kevin." <laughs> I, I damn girl, you like, fat. Kevin, how much do you weigh with all your all your shit? Actually, uh, he's got mithril armor. It's significantly I mean, less. It's pretty light. I weigh how much do I weigh? I weigh 134 pounds, and all my stuff is about 22 pounds. Weapons and armor. Oh yeah, so I got like another 20 pounds on Kevin. Yeah. Uh, you try like all 70 your stuff. Pounds. You weigh like two hundred pounds plus two hundred hey, well, plus pounds. And, but are we carrying? I'm not carrying a like sack of like bedroll and stuff though, <laughs> Travis. I'm just taking. Nina, my your armor is forty pounds by itself. Oh, so I mean twenty. God damn. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. What are the rest of you guys doing as Nina and Swiftwing take off? Um, I ask. Ready. I, I asked, can I can I man the crow's nest this time? Because <laughs> Caven was not a fan of being pulled off into the water. <laughs> I suppose you can, Caven. Or... How about, how about <clears throat> all of you? I suppose you. I mean, can, you got Kaben. you got the fancy rapier. I, I make eye contact with you him as I say it. You got the and the rod of ice. I... Yeah, guys, you are no help to us if they board the ship and you're stuck in the crow's nest. You need to stay on the ground. Our okay. friend, uh, he's got a point. Okay. Maybe you should stay down here with us. Cool. Okay. So you guys are just unless there's an argument, I I, no, I nod and turn back and I'm yeah. leaning on you know staring pensively. Darian, the they're gonna be here in a minute. Do you want the uh, ballista? They're all loaded. Yeah, yeah. Better do that. <laughs> Better do that. Cool. Uh, so I guess I go to the bow ballista. What's, what's uh, gonna be? They're crossing in front of us, right? So it'd be the bow. Behind you. They're crossing behind us. Yeah, it looks like they're probably not gonna quite catch up to you on this crossing. Okay. Um, Captain, tell everybody else to uh, to take cover, and uh, I go back to the ballista and I, I get low, like I get everything ready, but I uh. Look Same lively, way. you scurvy sea dogs! <laughs> or whatever he says. Cool. Yeah, so you guys take up... So, Durian, you're on the ballista. Where are you two? Uh, I am just somewhere where they might potentially board the the uh, boat because I am fighting in close range, so whichever side they're, they're closest to, that, that it looks like they could actually board. It looks like they're going to pass behind you. So, okay, I will try and stay quick, in that general quick. area. Okay, what? so you're on the stern, yeah. up by the wheel and by Durian. Yes. Gavin. Um. So they're gonna be by the stern. I. How how much is like the stern raised from the midsection? Uh, eight feet. Okay. 
I'll be on six to eight feet or so. I won't be on the stern. I'll be on the other side. Okay. Cool. So you're not gonna see them right as they pass behind you because you know the stern's up. But um, yeah, you'll see them as they kind of come in or come out or yeah. ram into your ship or whatever they do. Whatever they do. All right. Whatever awesome. Why don't you all roll initiative? For me? <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, is Swiftwind's just gonna be equal to mine since I'm mounting him technically? Yeah. Uh, yeah until you get off. Since I was excited to roll my physical dice, I'm gonna roll my initiative on physical dice. Alright. If you don't mind. No, I think I'll allow it. Camera down. Good, I, I, are you sure you don't want to fight that? Because I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, uh, What's that's my initiative? Oh, yeah. That's how you know I'm not cheating. <laughs> oh, curiosity. <laughs> I would have gotten the same anyway. Oh dear. Do, 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 Super green do, do, dice do, do, do. failed me. Does anyone use the three D dice on roll twenty? No. no, because they like make me lag out. Uh, uh, yeah, they're really bad actually. The the delay on them is Oh, that's too bad. Pretty noticeable. I saw it on uh roleplay the other day and I was like, Oh, it's kinda cool. Alright. Sorry, looking for one thing here quick. Uh, da, 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 there it is. Is it the what happens when their ship explodes? <laughs> Some, something like that. What, what um, happens when my one lucky bomb actually hits their rum supply and they Oh, Fawn, we need your uh, number the in there. Why is the rum is gone? A... Oh, I forgot to drag it in. Oops. Where? Oh, dear. There we go. Awesome. So, why don't we... Describe what happens. Um, so their ship is uh, coming up on you from um, the starboard side of your ship. And it looks like they're going to pass close to your stern. Um, so Cabin, uh, you can see them approaching in. Um, you've probably got some time to lob some arrows. But you don't see a whole lot of stuff on deck exposed. Do they have um, the boards up? The boards up again? Uh, you don't see any boards. Okay, but I'm but I'm, but I'm basically com- I'm basically yeah. prone. By the way, I was just glancing. I'm okay. trying to keep a low profile. Yeah, so you're looking up and you can see the bow of their ship coming in, but there isn't an, anyone like standing on the raised part of the bow exposed, right? Hmm. Um, you see one or two like maybe heads popping out of the crow nest, but no one is. Uh, you, you don't have an, a clear shot at anything, really, Caven. Got it. Okay. And they're still a ways away at this point. Okay. Like, are, are they... I guess I can't see, so... Okay. Uh, but it's like a few hundred feet, and they're swinging in. Okay. Do you want to do anything, or...? Nope. Okay. If, like, if I... I guess... I don't sure. see anything, so if I see people or see things, I will, like, shout it out to the crew. Okay. But I guess I don't see anything yet, so nothing. Cool. Fawn, you can see pretty much the same thing from your vantage point. Um, you're a little bit higher, but as their ship goes up and down, um, there's not a whole lot of waves. Um, okay. So they're not, like, diving down to the point where their deck is exposed, so... Okay, if I don't see anything either, I don't really see anything, I just kind of wait and... and observe, and see if I can see any any extra info. Okay. Nina, you're gaining altitude on Swiftwind. Um, you could probably be over their ship uh, within the next round if you wanted to. Or you could gain more altitude. You're maybe, uh, I don't know, a hundred feet up. Do you want to try and go higher or get in soon? Probably go higher because the idea was to come in because odds are they're looking forward and not directly above them. So the idea is to come in as a surprise and go. <laughs> okay, so you want to spend more time getting altitude. All right, so uh, you tell Swiftwind, and uh, he flies up higher. 
excuse me, the pirates are just closing oh, some yeah. distance. <laughs> what? What? Jimmy? What? I just, I just mumbled to myself, higher. That's oh. all I know. Oh, I wasn't didn't anything hear what like that. So I said higher. Except I said it quietly, and Kevin was found that funny. Apparently, I was what I was like. What? It sounded like a random noise, which is probably why. Yeah. So cool. The the pirates are starting to close the distance. Um, Durian, they are within maybe two hundred feet at this point. Um, I am looking up because you've used them before, so you know. Uh, the range increment on a ballista is one hundred and twenty feet. Okay. But it's gonna take you, I think, like three rounds to reload the thing. Uh, cool. we can do that now. It was two last time. Is it two? Uh, it's one sec. And it was one round of people are helping you as well, you said last time. Yeah, it's size, blah, 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 blah. It takes a creature smaller than large two full rounds. There you go. Cool. So do you want to fire at this distance and have to spend time reloading or wait for, for them to close? Uh, yeah, no, I'm chilling. I'm trying to stay unnoticed. I'm watching. Uh, I'm not going to fire until they've passed us. Um, okay. Cool. Will they? Do I need to hold action to do that? Or will they pass us? I, next like it, you can just choose to do nothing. Like, the ballista's all loaded and ready to go. So. Well, I was going to take another action, but how far away do they seem to be? 200 feet. And are they closing 200 feet in six seconds? No. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, I, uh... I, uh... Ooh, what's... I have a sea song instead of Charge of the Light Brigade. What is it? Charge of the Cad Man theme? Yeah, I, uh... I, I chant, uh, uh, what pleasant visions haunt me as I gaze upon the sea. All the old romantic legends, all my dreams come back to me. And I keep chanting, and I cast Inspire Courage. Cool. Nice. So, all right. This one. Awesome. So, you give your bonuses. Um, hey, making bonuses. notes. Yeah. Kaven, they've closed into about 200 feet now. Okay. Uh, I would like to... Shoot, okay, what do you call it? Reserve an action? Hold action? Hold action. Right? Okay. Re when... yeah. uh, ready or hold. Ready, action, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, I guess, Nina starts her dive... Or Swiftwind mm -hmm. starts the dive, I just can I, I would like to just like to rapid fire arrows at the ship. Okay, cool. Not like I I guess I'm not like aiming at a certain person or part. I'm just trying to like cause confusion by shooting some arrows at them. Sure. Yeah, uh, you you'll basically be firing blind unless you can find a target. So yeah, we'll I figure mean, that out. I, I'll aim for where I think their wheel is. I guess. Sure. Cool. Um. Fawn. Yes. Okay. Um, sorry, I am getting work texts. What was the last thing that happened? I apologize. I, I'm, Not much. I'm They're closing the distance. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. My old coworker decided to start texting me, asking me to come back to work at the other contract that I was on. So I'm like, why are you texting me about this at 1030? Um, so I'm just going to hold an action to... Oh, I have... I don't, um, you know what, I'm gonna get my bow out for now, um, okay. realizing it's kind of pointless to wait with close range weapons. So I'm gonna get out my short bow and, uh, ready an arrow to attack once someone gets close enough that I can actually okay. hit them. In sure. case you missed it, no one's really visible on the other ship. I will wait until someone is. Yeah, yeah, I was just letting you know so you can plan. Right, right now there's nobody visible. And then take a pot shot. As Niz said in the chat, so you know, four twenty. Cool. You know, 
Yeah, got it. Awesome. <laughs> hey, oh, I didn't get Nina. it. Now I get it. So, since I'm actually looking down from the air, Travis, what do I see? Uh, you see a ship. You're gaining more altitude, so the higher you get, the harder it is to see you know, individual stuff. Do I at least know where people are, especially in the crow's nest? Um, yeah, I mean, you can see some people in the crow's nest. Um, and a couple... You can see people on deck. Um, give me a perception check. Because you're probably a good 150, 175 feet up. <laughs> Roll for vertigo. 19. 19, okay. So He's you can like see um, people on deck. It looks like uh, a bunch of them are clustered around their starboard side. Um, and that's about all you can see. Uh, you can also see a familiar... Um, Horned figure at the wheel. And do I see any hockeys? Larry! <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, that's the main point. Do I actually see hockeys? You... I mean, the wings are noticeable, so. Not if they're folded down. You're too okay, high I mean... up to notice anything in more detail. Alright. Um, so there's people in the crow. Now, the crow's nest is on the mast, right? It is. So, yes. figuratively speaking, if I set fire to the crow's nest, is going to eventually go to the mast. Right down the mast. I, I can't tell you the results of your actions before you take I know, I'm just saying, I, I'm conceivably thinking that. Like, it is part of the one thing. It's not like that I'm only going to set the mast on fire. Eventually, the fire is going to spread. Assuming it doesn't get put out. You can it think is fire. whatever you want. Um, so am I in position this turn to begin the dive, or...? Are you diving in? Um, uh, I'm, I've told you the plan, Travis. I'm asking you, have I reached the critical point yet? Of going... Run, run, I'm sorry, run over the plan one more time for me. The plan was to go as high as we can to avoid yep. being spotted. Mm -hmm. And then perform a stealth dive, like basically a stealth attack in a dive. To drop one of these into the mast and then one onto the wheel and get out of there. Okay, I can... The idea <laughs> is... Hold on, if I can... I gotta pull out this guy. Like this. So straight down. Whoosh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got you. Um, you can get more height or you can do the dive now. It's up to you. You're about 150, 175 feet up. Okay. Um, hmm. I will wait one more round to a set height and then I'll give Swift Wind the okay. Okay, cool. So you guys continue to climb up. Uh, the pirates close probably another 50 feet, um, and your captain starts uh, spinning the wheel to try and cut across them, like yep. this. So they're... Like this. They're coming up behind you like this, and your captain is turning the wheel to go like this. Got it. And they're <laughs> still off to the side, by the way, so it's it's not like they're right behind them. Oh my. I sort of sound gross. Durian. Uh, uh, I'm, still, I'm still chanting, by it's the way. Nice. Just a sec. So, Josh? Uh, I was going to say, as far as my turn, can I... Well, I'm ascending. Pull out a potion. With what hand? You've got one bag in either hand to be able to drop them. Uh, good point. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, it's or his hand. <laughs> yeah, buck, you're like, buck knows you're like what gripping hand swift wind with your <laughs> legs for dear life. You don't have a lot of maneuverability. Just letting you know. There is buck no is saddle. Buck has learned a lot about him herself. <laughs> anyway, Durian. They're uh, at 150 feet. Uh, like I said, a ballista's range increment is 120. I mean, I only get one shot, really, so I'm not gonna leave myself a target. So I'm gonna, I'm laying low and trying, like they are on their side, just try not to be hidden or try not to be seen. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm still chanting too, so yep. the, the yep. timer hasn't started on the. Yep, no problem. Caven, um. Same thing. Yeah, holding that. They're, they're at 150 feet, um, so you could 
lob arrows now if you wanted to. They'd have to be your normal arrows, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I still I still can't see anyone though. No, I mean now that you're turning, you can see. Uh, give me a perception check. We'll see exactly what you can see. All right, I like that. Um, 26. 26, pretty good. Uh, you can see the um, black-scaled uh, creature at the helm of this ship. Um, and he seems to be uh, yelling something or gesturing. With the wind, you can't really hear yeah. what he's saying. Excuse me. Okay, I want to shoot him, I guess. Okay, he'd be another additional 50 feet back. Uh, you know, because he's at the stern of the ship. Um, um, is that within my range? Oh, uh, it'd probably be a okay. penalty. Yeah, it's a little penalty. But sure, I if that's the only thing I got, I'll be shooting at him. Okay, cool. Yeah, lob some arrows. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, I'm plus two to hit, right? Set a strong. That's all we got. Let's do it. 29. 29? Yeah, you fire an arrow up, and uh, you see it come down into uh, his chest. He kind of reels oh, back shoot. a bit. Uh, roll me damage. Okay. Dink. He says, ow. Plus three? Yeah. God, my, that <laughs> bow is pain. Dividends are ready. Better than Six no damage, damage, by the way. Six damage, yeah. nice. And go, I guess go. The second shot. Yeah. Let's go again. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you Probably see your not. shot just fly wide. All right. And so when the arrow hits him, he turns literally hard, and the ship capsizes. Yes. Not quite. Ah! <laughs> okay. He appears to he appears to keep gesturing or something. All right. Fun. Um, I'm going to not attempt what Caben did because I have short bow and it's just kind of worthless. So I'm going to continue to ready the action of shooting once they get close enough for me. Um, since I don't have Mountain Dew to uh <laughs> to help me out. Wait, uh, nice. so, one second. Fun. Are you like on the edge? Are you like on the closest part of our boat to their boat? Probably yeah, I'd be close so that way when I once they try to board I can switch to my melee weapons. Okay. Yeah, but I still have to jump at the stern with Durian. I guess I wanna shout out Watch out for nets. Cool. Um so Fawn, you just Buck kinda looks hold very stern. I'm just you're that close, watch out for the net. I okay, need so there's a ra there's a railing, right? Uh yeah. It's not like a full wall, though. It's like no, no, no. I mean, but I'm, I'm, I'm prone. I'm like, I am laying Sorry. on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And maybe like up against the railing. Like I'm presenting. You're as taking as much cover as you can. Sure. Thank you. Yes. That is All what right. I'm doing. Nina. Yeah. So I just like look at Swift and like, okay, Swift win. Let's make this count. What are you saying? I can't hear you! There's a lot of wind up here! Let's make it count! Dive! What are we counting? Oh, oh, okay! And he, uh, folds into a dive. And Nina, roll me a stealth check. Uh, Let's see whether or not they, they saw you climb up. Do I have any bonuses, especially since they just got arrows fired at them from different directions? Just roll roll your thing. Yeah, he'll back. He'll <laughs> roll back your thing with the thing. And the stuff. Uh, Do the thing. Do the thing with the stuff. Oh god. That's not bad. Fourteen. Okay. Cool. Um Yeah, Wait, so you go in stealth actually. <laughs> Whatever. Never mind. He's it's he's not a Klingon battleship. He doesn't have stealth mode. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, you dive in. Um, so you wanted to release one package at, uh... Yeah, so... I'll, I'll break up the packages since it wasn't very descriptive. With the three alchemist fires we have, and the one acid, and the eight okay. points of oil, 
the one designed for the wheel has one acid, one else. Just, just, Josh, type this down. Don't oh, don't right, just right. say it to me. <laughs> Alright, so bomb for wheel. I'm typing it as I'm saying that. Yeah. Just so you know, so you roll the damage. One acid, one fire, four oils. Bomb for nest. Two fires, four oils. Okay, cool. So uh, roll your, since you're closest to the nest, or that's the first thing you're going to pass over, uh, roll me your first uh, ranged attack there and make your second ranged attack at, uh, uh, yeah. at the wheel. So you ranged touch attack, right? Just this make your two ranged attacks with your bonuses. All right, um, sod to the wheel, um, to the nest, sorry. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah. You, you drop it. And before you even see what happens, you're going to be dropping the second one. So, yeah. just give me that attack. 17. Awesome. Cool. So, yeah, you, um, you managed to hit the crow's nest dead on. Um, and you smash next to the wheel as well. So, why don't you roll me, uh... I don't even know what those do for damage. Fires are D6, I believe, so... But if I don't know how you want to factor in oil damage as an XL or something, so... That's up to you, Travis. Um, well, it's just kind of blowing up, so... Uh, give me all of the damage. So, from the two fires, I... I'll double-check it, but I'm pretty sure it's just that. No, no, no. For, so, a pint of oil... Um, works like alchemist fire. Oh, when you make All a right. Molotov cocktail. Yeah, so you roll have me. Fire with it. Yeah. So if it's one at, just... okay. Yep. So that's. So just a sec. So that's the first one, because you yeah. had one acid, one uh, fire, and oil. Uh, roll the second one then. Yeah. Uh, just looking up acid. Give me one second. Equipment. Um. I think it's just D6. Goods and services. I might think it D6. is. It might be. It's. Uh... Da, da, da. Oh, did I get this wrong? No, no, yeah. So, yeah. So, 1D6. Acid damage. Every creature within 5 feet, then. Pff, yeah, that's. Don't really care about that bit. Give me the so, folder. 5d6 plus d6. Okay, so... Cool! The first one hits the crow's nest and goes... Boom! And you see, like... You know, the crow's nest is kind of a wooden basket built around the mast. Um, you guys on the ship, you see it just kind of like the, the wood that makes up this basket explode outwards. And two flaming bodies fly out of it and uh, topple to the deck. Um, the second thing explodes, uh, and why don't I... Because anyone standing there would get a reflex save. Guys in the crow's nest don't, because they don't have anywhere to go. It's either that um, or take, like, a 30 they could jump out. <laughs> yeah, so um, you see the, the black scaly creature look up at the last second and just, like, dive off the uh, uh, command deck? What's it called? I don't even know. Uh, the poop deck. The helm. The poop deck. He dives <laughs> off the he dives off the poop deck as the thing hits and just boom goes up in flames. So looking at my work, how badly did I get the wheel, Travis? As uh, I... You have no idea because you flew over it before it even exploded. But yeah, there was yeah, a wound. I mean, there was I just a wound. with me and I'm like, back to the ship quickly. Bloody yeah, hell! Quickly. What the hell did we have in there? Just steer the boat, Captain! Oh, that was not, 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 no, not no, I'm talking to with you. Oh, I thought that was the captain's I'm voice, like, sorry. Nope. Something to hinder the ship. <laughs> I would say. Excellent. Um, so the pirates, um, uh, you guys see the two big explosions and uh, fire kind of raining down. Um, and uh, there's kind of a choked yell uh, and you see the, the creature get up and just wave his arm 
And uh, uh, as your um, ships are turning, let's see, they're turning this way, you're turning that way. So you get a good look at their deck as you guys start to pass by, and you see uh, a bunch of archers pop up and three catapults <laughs> loose what? their rocks. What the heck? So we'll do the catapults first. <laughs> I don't see catapults! Cat what, like, like small catapults? They're small enough to fit on the deck of a ship. Okay, so they're not- But yeah, Nina, they're you, siege, they're you were, like, catapults. aiming. <laughs> but I, I would have sworn- I would have thought I would have saw catapults as I was ascending. <laughs> I would have thought that would be noticeable. Yeah, if they're right next to the mast, they're probably pretty well covered up. So, um, all right, awesome, uh, let's see, we'll be fair about this, there's one, two, three of you on the command deck, uh, we'll say the captain is one, Durian is two, Buck is three, uh, so, <laughs> two and three, so, uh, Buck and Durian, what are your ACs? Wait, do I get extra AC for being super manly? I thought they were just firing at uh, the the Pegasi or the you know whatever. The catapults? No. A cat like a catapult's not going to hit a flying thing. They were like lined up to shoot. It's not going to hit a durian either. <laughs> uh, well, we'll my see. AC, my AC is nineteen, and I'm still chanting, Mine so I'll need 20. a constant. I'll need a concentration check 20. if I take damage. Okay. Um. So you guys see rocks coming in. Uh, you said 19 oh. and 20, right? <laughs> are I rocks falling? Rocks are falling. Rocks, <laughs> rocks are falling. Who had the 19? Uh, I did. Durian sure. has 19. Okay. Sure. So, Durian, uh, you look up and don't quite get out of the way as a rock comes crashing down, uh, dealing 13 damage and smashing the deck at your feet. Like, it glances off your shoulder and goes, wham! Uh, cracking the deck beneath you. You, you're, like, knocked to the ground by this. Uh, thir um, 13 damage, you said? Ouch. Yep. And Fawn... Uh, actually, they were both 22, so you also get hit. Can you uh, not? I couldn't. <laughs> you take 13 damage as well. Buck up. We're not um, friends. Okay. And the, the third rock smashes into the deck, like, behind both of you, and um, during as you're getting up, you see a very surprised captain, like, looking down at the rock that landed a foot away from him. Uh, um, I, I, I'm, like, I'm, like, bruised my shoulder. I'm, like, really beat up from that. And I look at the captain, I'm like, keep steering! <laughs> Yeah, um, and then a volley of arrows gets loosed. Um, oh, jeez. So we have... One hit and... Uh, one hit on Durian, two hits on Faunalin. Uh, Fawn, uh... you take ten more damage, Durian six. What is this that hit me this time? Arrows. Arrows. Arrow! You're like, Arrow. keep steering, thunk. <laughs> keep steering, Ah, uh, damn it! Uh, I'm a little bit hurt. Yeah, maybe. A little bit hurt. <laughs> maybe if we weren't such a sissy oh, man. Oh, wait, no! No, I'm- stop! Sh I'm taking that back, I'm manly. I just- I don't even flinch. <laughs> and to be fair- okay. I- I- I, yeah, I hit the ground again. I was gonna say, okay. to be fair, would her ready an action now, proc, Travis? Uh, yeah, the pirate ship um closed another fifty feet, so it's at this point a hundred feet away. That means uh, I think I can hit it. I don't remember what the range is. Oh, yeah, what well, what was your ready to action? I didn't think you shoot him with my short bow. No, shoot. I said I was going to shoot him once I could actually get a short bow. Shot okay, it suck. Yeah, so I'll let you get uh, attacks for your ready to action and attacks for your current action. Yay! You, you, we'll say you and the pirates kind of went simultaneously. So you're yes. just mach machine gunning so, arrows. Four hours! So 26. Yeah. So <laughs> you tell add me to roll all four and then you tell me yes. which one. Yep. Okay. Did you add plus two to that? I oh no! So 28. 28. Okay. Seven. 
No, that's. I guess you had plus two to that. Yeah. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say keep the plus two off actually for range. Oh. So, okay, so you got a twenty six. So three 20, after. <laughs> yeah. So a twenty six, thirteen, 13 29, twenty nine, and seventeen. Seventeen. Why are you taking the plus okay. two off? Because of range. Uh, it's at a hundred feet. Her bow. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. I didn't know yep. short bow. Yeah, so you're just raining arrows down, um, and you do manage to get two hits. Okay. Well, it is not spectacular damage, because it's just 2d6 total. Plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Plus two. Oh, sorry. Plus four. Fifteen. Why plus That's two arrows. Well, two arrows, that was two arrows. plus two. I just get, it's like, this is a normal short bow. So you're ju are you just focusing on a guy, or are you raining arrows at One whoever? person. One person. Okay, yeah, so you pick Hoping out some sorry hit. bastard. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, okay, uh, you did 13, you said? 13, yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, you see a guy take two arrows um, and, like, limp away. Uh, and even somewhere. kill him. Away. Oh, sigh. Hey, wait, uh, is that dragon thingy, whatever scaly blue, blue, purple, black, yeah, whatever you... thing still in the water? He's not in the water. In the water. He's on the water. On the water. I thought you said he fell into the water after the explosion. Or was that he, something he else? Jumped he jumped off the... away. Yeah. Guys, he jumped off the poop deck and dived onto the normal deck. Oh, I heard dive, and I, I guess I just assumed dive into water, not... No, was... no, no. You see right. him actually uh, climbing the stairway, uh, and you see some men with buckets, like, running up to the wheel. Well, soon he's going to be climbing the stairway to heaven once we get our hands on him, so... Well, the good thing is no one's currently manning the ship. Uh, I have a question, Travis, when you're ready. Yes, it is your turn, dude. Well, but I before that, uh, I was still chanting. Do I need a concentration check after taking that damage to see if my spell is still ongoing? That's a good point. Yeah. Why don't you give me a concentration check? Uh, DC should be really high. Um, yeah. I took I took uh, 13 plus 6, so 19 damage. Um, you can roll... I'm not sure you can hit that, <laughs> but d just roll. See what I'm you. Just never roll, I never rolled concentration. What is concentration? Uh, it's the last skill listed on your sheet. I actually updated uh -huh. all these when we. Yeah. Them. I actually have a pretty good concentration score. D twenty. Yeah, it is plus twelve, which is pretty good. Twenty. Twenty. Okay, twenty is not high enough. You just. Okay. Cool. You, we're too distracted by getting hit by a rock and some arrows. So that that happened right before my my turn. Um, yeah. Did that? It's it's your my, turn now. Does the counter start now, or do I take a round penalty for that? Because I didn't quite get to my turn again. We'll say it starts now because your okay. turn was right after that. Good. Okay. Whew. Ow! I'm hurt. Uh, yeah. I see but, them. But you do have a fairly clear shot, and they're at about a hundred feet. And I see them running up onto the poop deck with buckets. Yeah. I'm yeah, going so through. since since your ships are crossing, um, you have pretty much a straight shot at anywhere at their ship. Who looks who's nice. on the ship that I see? Uh several archers, um three or four guys with buckets and uh the big scaly dude. Uh who's on the catapults? Uh, several other guys. They're, like, busy cranking them down and starting to reload them. Yeah, I aim for one of the dudes on the catapults. Okay. Any dude in particular? There's three on each catapult, and they're, I'm, like, there's no one with a big feathery cap. Like I'm, I'm aiming for, I'm aiming for the little bitch. The little bitch. Okay. Oh, the one who, the one who hit me with his, I, Okay, the, you, does, you see it, a it small matter. dog on deck, so <laughs> give me your roll hit. The little bitch Travis, who hit me with a cat with rocks falling from the could sky. Could he feasibly hit more than one person with this since it's a ballista? Um, well, they're not lined up that way, I don't think. Tell you what, on a nat 20, you can get two guys. Okay. Can you tell me what my bonus is to roll? Uh, just make a normal um, uh, range Ranged? Attack. Okay, plus nine, plus two. 
Oh, so Whoa. close. Fine. Okay, <laughs> so you only get one guy, but you skewer him. Uh, roll your damage. Which is? Probably gonna be enough. 3d8. Plus Ooh. two. <laughs> roll 3d8 plus two. 14. Oh, uh, yeah, you actually obliterate him. Can I say that the bullet? Well, tell me what happened. Describe for me what his body does when the ballista hits his um, hits him. Yeah. So this uh, catapult is like they're all positioned behind their masts, mm -hmm. um, so they'd be difficult to see coming straight on. Um, but he's like busy winching this thing, and you see the bolt just go in his side. It must have caught on his uh, spinal cord. Because he just goes flying backwards and gets, yes. like, slammed into the rail. <laughs> nice. And and then I I look over and I, I go... Which I don't know that's what that means, but I do it. It's a hand um, cross. Oh, you're just... Yeah, a, hand, a little hand cross. Um, and I'm booking off the stern after that. I'm okay. running to take cover. Uh, preferably off, you know, the stern's raised. I'm going down the main deck and... Getting around a corner, I think, by the steps that would lead, I think, down into the hold and sure, just like hiding out so I don't get another rain of arrows pelted at me. All right, awesome. And uh, can we take a break, actually? Since yeah, this top, is a great top, time. Top of the order. Top of the, top of the uh, turn order. Thank you. Yeah. So you guys can take a quick break and be back for the rest of the battle. Stay tuned. Yeah. 